Welcome back, everybody. My name is Yvonne. My name is Yvonne. And today we're going to be reviewing. Fuck. Do it again. Because <laughs> I'm reviewing the psychological thriller called Run. Okay. That's what it's called. And today we're going to be reviewing the psych psychological thriller called Run. Starring Kira Allen and Sarah Paulson. He recommended it because he said it was like trending on TikTok and I was like, okay. Yeah. We watched and it was like really good. Sarah Paulson, you guys are from many other movies. We'll tell you about a bunch of other ones in the yeah. clips. But apparently I found out when I was doing research that, uh, you know the girl that was in a wheelchair? Mm -hmm. She wasn't an actress. She's actually in a wheelchair. Oh, really? Yeah. No way. Yeah, so I thought that was kind of cool. They, um, they cast a person who was... I had a disability mm -hmm. and able to walk in a wheelchair and they used her to act the movie out. And really it's credit to them because the movie is basically just them two, the whole... Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a little bit of actors, but really the movie just takes place in yeah. in the house. That's all it is. It's just them two and the acting was really superb so you're able to get the grasp of the back and forth of having a mother to deal with... Um, a sick child. A sick child and the child obviously being attached to the mom mm -hmm. because of that. Or is it the child? Because... Huh? Yeah, you have to watch it. was really good. We'll go into like further detail about it, but it was really good. Yeah, so I had, like she said, I seen it in TikTok, mm -hmm. and I had seen it, and then, well, I'm super into movies, so when I saw it, I was like, it looked kind of interesting, and the guy kept describing and describing it, mm -hmm. and I was like, dang, this is pretty good, like, so the tease of the movie, like, no spoilers, just in the trailers, it's that... Uh, this girl's taking her pills, right? She's in a wheelchair. She has to take pills for diabetes, for... A few things. A few things. It's, a, yeah. it's like at least like four or five things that she has. Yeah. But one of the one in one of the days that the mom comes home with the groceries, she goes to him to get some chocolates, mm -hmm. and then the pills are there that she takes, and she knows that the pills are, in, are not her, under her name. It's under her mother's. Mm -hmm. So she begins to question yeah. it, and then the whole movie just starts unraveling. That, yeah, that's yeah, That kind of the little snowball effect yeah. that it just keeps going. And that... What I really loved about this movie is that it was sh it was a short movie. It's like an mm -hmm. hour and thirty, and she could tell you that she but has it, a short attention yeah, span. Yeah, it gets straight to the point. Yeah. So yeah, she has a very short attention span. So I always try to find movies for us that are like short and straight to the point. So yeah. this one was like it's an hour and thirty supposedly. It's on Hulu, by the way, and mm -hmm. but really it's only like an hour and twenty four minutes because the last you know six minutes of end credits. And yeah, once like she said, once it's, she finds out the first pill scene, it's just us unraveling more and more dark yeah. secrets about the so-called mother which you find out wasn't the mother so we're getting to the spoilers now so be careful but for the non-spoiler review just real quick for sure great movie i would yeah. give it easily a 9 out of 10 what would you give it like 9 out of 10 it was really 9 good. out of 10 and the fact that it was like such a short movie like one hour and 20 because normally how long are movies two hours yeah so it was yeah. off by like i don't know what is that 40 minutes, minutes? Yeah, 30. yeah 40 minutes pretty yeah much, 40 yeah. minutes so like it got my attention and it felt a little bit longer just because you're under so much stress just watching everything that went on during the movie <laughs> yeah it felt like all that stress was more than one hour and 20 so like she said like the suspenseful scenes mm -hmm. you felt them like once you you're engaged uh with yeah. the characters like small little scenes right like where the mailman keeps coming home to give mm -hmm. the mail it's like the small little details that she'll do that the director literally will have the mom right opening the door in the background you see the car with the door open so you yeah. couldn't tell that she was in a rush just to get the mail yeah so it was like really crazy i think that's called like foreshadowing if you took a film class i yeah. think it foreshadows what like the sequence of events is and gives yeah. you like just clues so just like little bits and pieces like that you start to catch on of like what is next to come the script is really well done it's straight mm -hmm. to the point what i love about it too is that when, within the acting it's like it's just the mother and the daughter and the daughter Right, just going back and forth, mm -hmm. and the scenes are so tense. Like, yeah, clearly, like, and the crazy thing is, like, they kind of give you a glimpse at it, like what she said, foreshadowing the just the mm -hmm. movie just starting off right off the bat, where um, there's a scene where the, of parents in a classroom where they want to talk about how they're all crying because they're mm -hmm. the children leaving the nest, right? Yeah, how they're all gonna go to college, they're all gonna get separated, you know, and it's it's hard for them. They're all crying, and the mom, she's not, she's just like, yeah, she's. Just, no emotion whatsoever. She's like, I don't care. Like, I've seen her my whole life. Yeah. She's, I'm glad that she's leaving now. And it's just like, damn, like, that's how you feel about mm -hmm. your daughter. She was emotionally attached to the child because... Mm -hmm. uh, that's all she had. She, yeah, she, all she had. So she needed the child. But it wasn't really like a, as a mother mm -hmm. where like, oh my God, my child. It was just like... It was more of a necessity more than an actual feeling of a mother. Yeah. And, well, that was the bond you got out of them. 
it wasn't like a bond it was like more like a dependency like the mother needed her child exactly. in order for like her survival and just for her to have some type of fulfillment yeah. but in terms of her like needing her actual child yeah. like bonding wise like mother to child there was like no bond there in that sense yeah sarah paulson yeah. Did, was really good at with her acting that like, you legit got that like mm -hmm. each note every single time but going back to Kiran, who was disabled um wow even puts more emphasis on a scene uh, where she she goes out the window to try to break mm -hmm. into after the mother after she finds out that the mother is not her actual mother. Yeah. She breaks into the scene. She's crawling. She's going through yeah. everything through the house, and that's not fake. That's like a legit house. She's going through and everything. She gets the pan. She grabs the a cable extender. Where she grabs it. She throws like was it acid that she threw out the window? I think so. I think it was like acid, right? Yeah. And then it starts to break. It was awesome. It actually reminded me of another movie mm -hmm. called Hush. Where the same thing, oh, yeah. the main actor, you remember that movie? Yeah, but the lady's like deaf. I She's think. deaf, yeah, exactly. Deaf. So it's like... There was just so many good scenes. Yeah, like, I'm glad that we watched this at home instead of theaters. Because if it was in theaters, <laughs> I, it was too stressful to just like be in your seat and like not say a word or anything. Because yeah. when we watched it at home, we were just like in the living room and everything. So like I had the I had time to just kind of like pause and be like, I'm so stressed. <laughs> like I have a few words I have to say because yeah. I just can't contain myself. Yes. That's how good it was. I had like I had things to say about the movie yeah. during the movie, and if I had to do that in theaters, yeah, like I, yeah, you can't talk in during a movie. So yeah, like true. it's best if you watch it at home than in theaters. But I don't ever I don't even think it came out in theaters. I think it was uh, only no, released. it was it was straight. I don't to think release. I think it was only released like on Hulu. So yeah. it was straight to release. Kind of like Netflix does it, so Hulu did that too. Mm -hmm. So as the story unravels, you get to find out. Well, the daughter starts to find out that mm -hmm. one she was already deceased. Right in the in the beginning oh, of the, yeah. in the the first scene in the movie, you see her, um, the mother with the wheelchair going to a baby that's incubated, which you were left to assume was mm -hmm. Chloe, the the daughter. But after you find out it's not her, but she already had a, a death certificate of her and saying that she had died after only two hours. Mm -hmm. And as she keeps going through the papers, she finds out that she was actually kidnapped by her parents. Well, the lady, the lady who's supposedly her mother, Sarah Paulson, had kidnapped her from her yeah. actual parents. And then, so after Chloe finds out that she was supposedly dead for after two hours on her death mm -hmm. certificate, then the mother had kidnapped her from her actual parents. So that leads to the point where Chloe feels like there's no way out. Like her yeah. mother's so attached to her, she, she can't get out of it. Mm -hmm. So then she's like, an attempted suicide, she drinks her own acid. She's like, she's like, I don't need you, you need me. So she just drinks it. And I was like, damn. Which is kind of crazy because in the, the, the way it was directed, it seemed like she was going to throw the acid at her mother, but it wasn't. She was just like, I'm done with this, there's no way out. So she drinks it, and her mother's just going hysterical, trying to find um, one of the pills because she has so many pills in the in the cabinet that she's trying to grab something and to give her give her something. And it ends up she actually saves her life. So you think she would die, but she didn't. So you think, damn, she got out of this hellhole, but she's not. So it ends up with her being at the hospital. But the problem is because she can't speak because of the uh, the acid that she took, she has to like write it down. But her her hands are like not working. So, so Chloe drinks the acid and then that ends up her being at the mm -hmm. hospital because obviously she just attempted suicide. And in that, the nurse comes in and then she's trying to ask for help, like trying to write down in a, with a crayon and a paper that she needs help from her mother. But the thing is, because of the acid, she can't really write. Yeah. So she's kind of like discombobulated. So she's trying to write it down. But at the last second, she actually is able to. Mm -hmm. But by then, the mother already had kidnapped her and got her out of the yeah. custody of the cops and the nurses. Which then leads to... Uh, final scene where you assume once again that the mother's gonna get killed because she gets shot by the police, mm -hmm. but oh yeah, she's not. Yeah. So then it kind of I think it says like seven months or like maybe a year later after. I think the, it was seven years later. Seven years. Yeah, she was like all grown up now. Yeah. So then after she got sh the mother got shot, which you yeah. believe is dead, which you find out not because seven years later mm -hmm. she's at an, uh, an infirmary, yeah. and she's going to get out her clothes and you know, go to the uh, metal detector. And then you would think that she moved on from her mother, but she still hasn't. She came back to visit her mother, and you're kind of wondering, like, why would you go visit the mother? Your mother that kidnapped you, faked her death. After everything she put through, right? Giving her pills that weren't for her, were dog pills. She would be able to detach from that, but she doesn't. She's mm -hmm. still by there. And I don't know if it was the special effects team or the makeup. Or just Sarah Paulson, she just lost weight, but she was so skinny in that last scene, it was creepy. Oh, yeah. She was like, she was like bones, it was just like straight bones. 
And Chloe was telling her how, how good her day was, how mm -hmm. she was teaching kids to, to walk, and it was kind of like... Kind of just bragging that her life was better. Yeah. And it implies that her life has gotten better because her mother's not around, because she's in that, like, rehab um, yeah. like facility. So it kind of just tells you that. Yeah, it was, it was a little unsettling, because you didn't know if... Mm -hmm. To almost be happy for Chloe, the fact that she had kind of moved on, mm -hmm. because she thinks she already had moved on with her life, with... Doing other things, but at the same time, she, why would you still go back to seeing your mother? Mm -hmm. But then the last thing you see, why, where she uh, takes out the pills from her mouth, and it's the exact same pills that she was giving her for her not to be able to walk to the mother, and then she says, it's like, I love you, mother, and that's really how it ends, and she gives her the pills. I knew you were going to start on that part, like... Isn't that crazy? <laughs> that is our <laughs> that is our spoiler review yeah. for a Run on Hulu, by the way. Mm -hmm. It came out two years ago, uh, yeah, 2020. Yeah, pretty new. Yeah, so I only got to watch it because of TikTok, but... Okay, guys, so that was pretty much the review that we had on the movie Run. Let us know if you watch it. Comment down below if you do or you don't. Give us your thoughts. And see you guys on the next one. Bye. Smile, we gotta smile for the thumbnail. Well, we'll do a few thumbnails because like, if we don't add the photo there... Okay, and then just like a regular one in case. I'm just doing stuff. Just like, no, just like look at me and we're laughing. Okay, just like do not, you know, got to do all that. <laughs>